I'm Bhaskar Gupta and today I will talk about deployment of VCD on VCF. Wouldn't it be nice if you could deploy VCD its underneath infrastructure within few hours? Well that's very much possible now with VCF. There are various ways by which you can deploy VCD on VCF. In this demo we will be talking about the deployment of VCD in the management domain of VCF. Since vCenter, SDC Manager and NSX Manager gets deployed with VCF. Hence, it makes the deployment of VCD a lot easier. Based on this slide, we can see that the cloud director cells, transfer server storage and usage meter resides in the management domain and so as the optional ones like VDLS Suite Lifecycle Manager, VDLS Login Site, Operations, VDLS Automation and NSX H Cluster. There's another design options where you can place cloud director management components within cloud foundation workload domain instead of the management domain which we just discussed earlier. To know more about those options, please defer the link I had mentioned in the blog post. In this demo, we'll be discussing about tenant utilizing shared resource on VCF workload domain. A workload domain is dedicated for tenant resource consumption which basically means a tenant workload will consume resource from that workload domain as its resource pool and cluster will be mapped to a provider virtual data center. In the upcoming sections, I am going to demonstrate the process of host commission and creation of VI workload domain which will be used by cloud director for tenant resource consumption. Since the process is pretty straightforward, hence we will be forwarding this video. We'll start with host commission where we'll add all the pre-configured hosts. We'll validate them and finally click on commission to initiate the process. The host has been commissioned successfully. Now we'll create the VI workload domain which will be used for VMware Cloud Director for resource consumption. Get the name for channel clusters, compute details, networking. Next, we'll provide the vSAN storage details. We'll select all the host which has been commissioned earlier, provide the licenses and click on finish. Here, C Director workload domain has been created for this demo. We'll click on services to see what all components have been deployed. The vCenter what you see on the screen will be configured in Cloud Director for tenant resource consumption. We'll click on the workload domain vCenter and here we'll observe that the other vCenter for the management workload domain is also visible due to the enhanced link node. We have pre-configured the Cloud Director components in management domain and the same can be seen here vCloud Director cell, the NFS for vCloud Director and finally the NSX Manager. With that, let's log into Cloud Director UI as a system admin. Workload Domain vCenter has been pre-configured for this demo and the same can be seen here. Let's click on cloud resources and look at provider VDCs and organization and organization VDC. If you see tenant one has been created for this demo. Let's look at vCenter. If see vCenter does VCD is the one which has been configured for tenant resource consumption and the same can be seen here the tenant one and its virtual machines residing there. 
Well, that's all about the deployment of VMware Cloud Director 10.2 in VCF 4.0. I hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.